In this tutorial, we will learn how to attach or emboss a 3D text or any logo on a curved surface as we see here, and we'll do this in Blender using some easy methods. So let's say we have a cop with a round surface, and we will emboss or attach a 3D text on this curved surface. We can add this text using the traditional text option in this menu, but we will rather use geometry nodes for a better text, so we need to first add any one mesh object. Then go to the Modifiers tab and add a Geometry Nodes modifier. Now we'll pick up a Geometry Node tree called Create 3D Text. You can also download this node tree from the links given below. It helps you to create a nice text object that you can bend easily compared to a normal text. You can customize the text using this node, like you can select a specific font from here, or you can set the font size or the line spacing from here. This node tree accepts two lines of input, so let's enter some text, maybe our channel name. You can easily modify this node tree to add more lines of text if needed. And to assign a specific material for this text object, you can select a material from the list of existing materials. So the text is now created as per our requirement, but this is too big compared to the cup or the target object. So let's resize it maybe by a factor of 0.25. Then we need to move it up to the top, and we need to also bring it out in this direction, which is the negative y-axis, so it will be somewhere like this, in front of the cup where we'll emboss it. Then we need to bend this text correctly, according to the curvature of the target surface, and it's a very crucial step. So go to the Add menu, and add any one empty from here. Then go to the Constraint tab, and add a constraint for this empty, called Copy Location. And in this Target Object field, we have to select the text object. So the empty will always have the same location as that of the text object, and we can now hide this empty by switching this off. Then let's select the text object again, and in the Modifiers tab, minimize the Geometry Nodes modifier, and add another modifier called Simple Deform for the text. Then switch over to the Bend tab, and in this Origin field, we have to select the same empty that we have just added. And the bend axis for this case will be the z-axis, so select it. Now we can bend the text by changing this bend angle. Make sure it roughly matches with the curvature of the target surface. Maybe we can make it 65. But remember that this bending will only work if you have the same axis orientation as we have. Our positive x-axis is here, and the positive y-axis is here. But if you work with a different orientation of axis than what we have, you need to rotate your empty for the correct bending, or you can also try our easy bend add-on that makes bending an easy affair. Let's bring down the text slightly, so we have to go to the object properties and change its z-location as required. Maybe we can take a round figure like 2.3. And we can also see that there is another thing here. From the side view, we see that the cup has got a slant height, so we need to rotate the text to make it parallel to the target surface. So let's change this X rotation angle as suitable. Maybe we can go for 8 degrees, which looks perfect. Now we need to move it inward in order to get some overlap with the cup surface. So let's change this Y location until it makes a suitable overlap. You can experiment with this and get to the correct value. Let's go for say minus 0.56. That gives us a good overlap with the cup. Now examine it thoroughly from all possible angles to ensure that the overlap is equal and perfect in all sides. If you see any issues, you can modify these location values, or in the Modifiers tab, adjust this bend angle as suitable. So, once we are satisfied with everything, the next step will be to add some bevel to get a better appearance for the text object. So, let's minimize this modifier, and we have to add a bevel modifier. We will use a very low value for the bevel amount, and the number of bevel segments can be changed to 5 or 6. Now, in the Geometry section of this modifier, we need to disable this clamp option. So we will be able to see some bevel along these sharp edges of the text object, but we can also see some artifacts or some defects due to the bevel. So let's change this angle to say 45 to get rid of them. Now we've got a nice bevel effect for the text, and we are almost done. Let's also select the text and enable the Shade Auto Smooth option from here. We need to then make it permanently attached to the cup, maybe with a Boolean modifier, but it often becomes a little cumbersome, so we'll simply join them. But before that, we have to apply these modifiers. Please remember that this is a destructive step, so keep a backup before you apply these modifiers. Now select the text, then select this target object with the shift key, and let's join them together from here. So we got the text embossed on the target surface. Since the geometry is disjoint, it may not be called truly embossed, but it serves the purpose. Let's also check how it looks in the rendered view mode. The lighting is also very important here, since the shadow is dependent on the light, and to get a result like this, I strongly recommend you to use an HDRI environment. 
So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.